Good evening, everybody. My name is Ito, and I'm here to bring you Recon 5 versus Gorilla Gang for the ESEA Season 32 NA Playoffs Round 2, of course. And Recon 5 are actually hot off of a win, I believe, over Brazen. It was in the first round of playoffs here, won it in a very close best of three series. And really, I have a lot of hopes coming in for Recon 5 here. And speaking of which, I want to give a big shout out to Recon 5 Org here for helping make this production happen. I got contacted by pretty much everyone, really, but Pretty Boy was the main one who really made this all happen, reached out to me, and I'm going to try to be representing them in the best way I possibly can by casting their match and doing a damn good job at it. Yeah, just waiting for all players to get into the server at the moment right now. Yeah, just playing the nice waiting game. But really, there is a lot of potential lethality for this next matchup here. These are the two top teams, some could argue, in in or excuse me, in advanced right now. Some really big names. If you look on the left side of your screen, you'll be seeing on the side of Gorilla Gang, we have Leaf, Mac One, Freshy, Kanpeki, and Typhoon. And then on the right side, we have Wreck Monster, Castro, Conti, Asuna, and then soon, I believe, we're going to be seeing another one join our ranks here, which should be, let's see if I know how to do math. Yes, it's going to be, well, not Castro. Castro's already in here. Who am I forgetting? Well, no, all, all from a Recon 5 are in here. Already getting this off to a fantastic start, but yeah, so we wait. I just want to go ahead and I guess go into a little bit of a story behind this match. What exactly we're going to be facing up against here. Recon 5, currently 8th seed in ESEA Advanced for North America, of course. And really, they've been doing fantastic. They may have to come up with an underdog victory over Brazen, who's been looking really good. I believe they're also in the Winner's League. And having lost that match here, Recon 5... Must have a lot of mojo to go ahead and try to face off Gorilla Gang. And Gorilla Gang, they're no slouch either. They're currently the first seed in ESEA Advanced right now. Have gone undefeated in the um, regular season. So that's something pretty special right there here. Their lineup is Alexander, Leaf, Mac one Freshy, and Wreck Monster. All of which, they're across different teams right now. Then on Recon 5, we have Asuna, Kanpeki, Castro, Conti, and Freshy. There we are. We're finally getting all the names right here. And I think it's really important to also keep in mind and show off the player highlights that I had mentioned here. The main one that I wa really want to keep a big focus on is Asuna from Recon 5. No player photo available, but they've been really lighting it up in the server. And they have a very unique... Uh, style of aiming. It reminds me a lot of how Kiarbe, um has a very shaky spray. And well, it's done a pretty good job for them. They dropped, I believe it was something like 50 kills? Let me go ahead and see. They got 72 kills versus Brazen in that best of three, which did go the distance and are averaging about 12 RWS as well. So really lighting it up in the server. There's been other really big names on the er, in the I guess in the server wouldn't be another way to put it, but for Recon 5 as well, Castro has also been lighting things up. Lots of potential lethality here. And on the side of Recon 5, you can't also forget about Mac 1, a very loud presence. But really, Typhoon and Leaf are the people that I'm most interested in here. I believe Leaf temporarily did leave the side of Gorilla Gang. And so seeing them back. Very interesting in of itself. I'm not exactly sure who we're missing right now. If I can go ahead and take a quick look real quick. It looks like we are missing someone from Recon 5. We don't have our player to watch. But really, I just wanted to give you guys a quick glance in the game real quick. As we wait for the game to start soon, it shouldn't be too long. I might toss it over to some music while we wait for the last to get in. I think it's also a good time to mention some of the updates that have actually been coming out. Just today, they released a major operation that allowed you to have different character models. and This is something that's going to take me a good while to get used to, in all honesty. This is very new, and seeing fresh models that you can be used on every single map here. You no longer have to stick with the you know elite crew or whatever you're given. And I believe Freshy is already going to be rocking the Ava model. First female model in CS, interestingly enough. And... 
really everyone has their own little unique bite-sized piece it's to kind of go off and frag out in the server maybe every player will have oh okay well apparently post malone just got killed or something like that come pecky going down but really who is going to win is what woody says in the chat and thing is that's a really big question mark for me here if you look at just straight on the paper how these teams have been doing together here i would have to give it to gorilla gang they are the first seed and really have been doing honestly super well and it, luckily I, I actually that was the first thing i thought of axed as well as i was really worried if the female model was going to be smaller than you know, pretty much every other model but it looks like they are about the same here it's surprisingly hard to find a good angle because it won't let me go into the third person here but on paper, I would have to give the edge to Gorilla Gang here, but I'm personally rooting for Recon 5. Sure, I have a little bit of incentive to do it, but I want to see them surprise here. It's all going to start off on the pills around here on DE underscore Inferno here. We see Conti picking up a lot of utility on the team of, or excuse me, on the side of Recon 5 here, pushing out towards mid. Compeki going over towards the bridge. It's important to keep in mind that Inferno, I believe, is a pick of Recon 5 here. Gorilla Gang, since they have the higher seed, I believe they choose map number two, and immediately pushing in towards B, we see two members of Recon 5 pushing through CT right now. First one's gonna get punished, but not without a quick trade coming out from Asuna here. A little bit of a scuffle over towards mid as well, as Freshie is able to find one. Make it three versus three. Still a lot of time left on the clock, though. It's not exactly ready to <laughs> observe all these engagements super quick here but as they're already making their way onto the a site here bomb is going to get planted and typhoon is soon going to peek his head coming in through moto but it will far be far from the last excuse me freshy is going to find one head unfortunately that's all they're going to find here as it's now down to two versus two the bomb hasn't been very far ticked so this is a very rough situation for recon 5 to be in but it's going to really force a hand in particular of alexander here needs to protect the bomb defuso but it's not going to happen recon 5 will come out on top up. Winning that pistol round, it was a little bit scary and definitely a very quick moving pistol round. Nonetheless, Recon 5 will come out on top of that 2 versus 2. Take the first round here in our best of 3 series. There's still a lot of Counter Strike to be played here, but I think Freshy was the most important factor in that round. We're seeing another standard buy come out for Recon 5 here with the new changes that came with the Galil in today's update here. I'm very Excited to see a lot of them come out here. I'm surprised we're not seeing any uh, FAMASAs, excuse me, on the CT side here. But we are seeing an interesting setup here. Double stack over towards Banana with Leaf and Mac one who are both holding close sandbags in particular. But I want to keep an eye on Freshy, who is low on HP. Might get donked by the shotgun. Actually spots both of them out. But the trade isn't exactly there just yet. Leaf is going to be able to find Freshy completely uncontested. But there's Asuna, the player to watch. We'll strike back with a kill onto Leaf. There's still one more player waiting. Has backed up. Engagement has now moved over towards mid. Where Alexander, as well as Wreck Monster, will go ahead hold very passive positions over towards Balcony and Moto, respectively. But here comes a fall. All the T's will now be trying to collapse on top of the CT, but Wreck Monster is clean. Finds one Deeg, but can't exactly find more as he's forced to back off the site here. Also, no, will be trying to pincer in from the other side. Knows exactly where Wreck Monster has to play thanks to that smoke going out, telegraphing their position. But 13 HP, it's far from an easy task. However, Asuna isn't scared at all. We'll be able to find the frag, open up the site, and make it a safe bomb plant for Recon 5 here as we enter this post plant. This is far from a done deal. It's important to keep in mind. Mac 1 still has that new and clean... Galil in hand here. It's a 1 versus 2. Asuna dangerously low on HP. And speaking of which, we'll go ahead immediately dink down Mac 1, putting Recon 2 on a second round now. Looking clean so far, and we're already seeing a pause come out. I don't believe this is going to be a tactical one this early. Usually we start seeing them come out, you know, after a few gun rounds. Imagine technically, I see no reason why they wouldn't, but just seeing what Gorilla Gang have forced up so far here, it looks like they are going to be going for a nade stack. I would imagine it's going to be one down or a couple down banana and a few down mid, but well, don't want to speak too soon here. Looks like it is going to be over towards mid here, so I want to keep an eye and see if it actually is going to be good for any damage here. As freeze time is finally ending. 
pause has come through, and judging by the length of it, it looks like it was just a tech or tactical pause, excuse me. Nades are about to be ready to come out over towards mid here. Here comes a Kaboom, and unfortunately, it's not really going to find much of anything. There's the damage they're looking for. Asuna down to 5 HP. Castro is looking a little bit better for wear, but Asuna is now going to be a little bit of a liability. They've been doing fantastic so far early on in this game here, but R5 are seriously running away with this one. It's a clean anti-eco. Haven't dropped a single player. Hopefully, Leaf won't try to make his name known here. Has those duelies. Interesting, but we don't usually see those on forces. So there's a first frag going the way of Leaf, but not a second. Caster will clean it up. And it's a clean round for Recon 5, despite taking quite a bit of utility damage at the beginning of the round. It's not going to phase them. They'll go out nearly unscathed. Round number 4. This is where things are going to start getting interesting for Gorilla Gang here. Those two rounds after the pistol were almost a given for Recon 5, but their next big challenge is going to have to deal with all the rifles here. It's going to be five M4s. No Ops, no Augs either. Speaking of Augs here, we actually see Recon 5 bringing out the SG. Has gotten a little bit nerfed, but really not much to speak of. It just costs a little more, but Wreck Monster in a perfect off angle is going to be good to find one kill before getting quickly traded out by Kempeki. But that's going to go ahead and begin the flurry of nades in from the CT side here. Alexander trying to peek, or excuse me, trying to peek on top of this bike right now. However, he's going to be in for a bad time here. As Molotov will go out. Still actually going to frag none the... Or excuse me, find a frag nonetheless. It's a two on two. The trades have been good from Recon 5. And they're going to force a bomb plant down yet again here. They're all going to be going up around this porch side here. And I'm not sure... Oh, that's actually giving away their position right there. Castro now has to know that they most likely have at least one person dedicating... Up towards porch side, but little do they know it's most likely going to be both. There are both nades coming out from the CT side here. Cold Zero position is good for two. Castro cleans it up. A triple kill for him in that round. That's exactly how you want to win that gun round in a convincing fashion. That's how you do it. Looking relatively good, and it's going to force Re oh, excuse me, Gorilla Gang onto another eco round here. They aren't going to be going for that grenade stack down mid. I guess they decide it wasn't exactly fruitful enough. Speaking of which, the only utility will be on Leaf, who's going to go ahead and toss it down Banana for a total of zero damage. A little bit of prodding from Alt Mid and Mid, respectively, from pretty much every member of Recon 5, but the main push is happening over towards Banana, where they have their single gun, which is Mac one who has a shotgun and stow here. He could be in for a potential lethal round here, if they actually look for him! They didn't, but as soon as he actually started making a noise, they were able to snuff him out almost immediately. Conti already has two kills in this round here, and this anti-eco is looking more and more dismal by the moment for Gorilla King right now. They've struggled to find anything. They've taken down Asuka, or Asuka, wrong anime, Asuna. No Evangelion for you. But Gorilla Gang are looking to fly to the moon. With a round like this, Kompeki gonna go ahead, toss out a smoke over for porch side. Won't be capitalizing on top of it, however. It, or excuse me, a B push is where things are going to end up here. Leaf has to go ahead and greet all the T's who are going to be coming in, but he's burning alive as he does it, burning up with embarrassment perhaps, because he's not able to hit any shots whatsoever. Wreckful Monster will be the next one to try to deal with here, but it's going to be almost no problem. Or perhaps he is. He's going to find one kill, but every member of Gorilla Gang will go down. Not too much worry whatsoever from Recon 5 here, keeping two Kriegs into the next round. They're looking fire. Finally going to see that first AWP come out. Better late than never, surely. I want to see if Mac one has any interesting plans from, or excuse me, to really kind of do with this. We've seen Kenny S style peeks into alt mid from them, I believe, in their past demos. I'm not exactly sure. I think that was a counter smoke to try to avoid a Molotov that was going to land porch side. But I guess it's not going to work out for them whatsoever because Alexander has immediately gone down. Taking a fight over towards mid. Castro, fantastic on the trigger. Finding that first kill almost immediately. Already making into a 4 versus 5 for Recon. They're looking primed and clean right now. However, 
There's still a lot of potential scariness in this round here as they have to force this banana control right now. Leaf also forced to back off of their position. Flash will go out from Leaf, so that way he can rotate safely. But there's still no peep, no sound from the T side here as they're starting to rotate their way back up mid here. Wreck Monster might be in for a nasty surprise here if he turns his way towards mid here. He hears a lot of noise being made, but they haven't cleared Boilers completely. Wreck Monster is now in a very scary position here. They thought they've cleared Boiler, but I think they're going to try to double back. That's going to be so much information for Wreck Monster. Asuna knows not to take this push. Or excuse me, not to take this fight here. Leaf, however, he has not learned from his teammate here. We'll try to take a 1 versus 3 over towards Banana. Luckily, Typhoon will be there to try to pick up the slack just a little bit. Wreck Monster will find another kill as well. 2 versus 3 with a bomb planted. Recon 5. Looking poised to lose our first round here, but it's not done yet. We've seen Recon 5 be very, very strong in these post plants so far. Sometimes not even dropping a single player. But the real challenge is now on Gorilla Gang here. They have one op pushing into the B site. Things are scary right now. Kompeki already going to make it off to a terrible start. Conti will continue that as it's going to be Typhoon stuck in a one-on-two. Only four bullets left in that M4 though. Forced to reload. Oh, he's going to be going out with desperation with that USP. And Conti will have none of it. A double for him in that round. And a sixth one on the board for Recon. And well, it looks like we're also going to be seeing another tactical pause coming out. Presumably from Gorilla Gang here as they are still flawless on Inferno here. I believe it is important to mention as well. I believe this is the pick of Recon 5 as well. You would hope that they're looking clean on their map pick here, but at the same time, Gorilla Gang look I mean, kind of lost. Those trades weren't really there. We're, they're relying a lot on these individual plays very early on, at least. On that retake, you saw Typhoon did manage to find that first. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get that second kill. He's doing not even the best on his team. It's actually Wreck Monster who's topping the scoreboard for his team. But Recon 5, they're looking golden here. Gorilla Gang will be forced onto yet another eco, this time with upgrade pistols, a little bit of utility on Mac 1 as well as Typhoon. Looks like they're going to be going in for a pop flash play over towards Banana here with a follow-up flashbang for good measure. But a lot of utility damage has already been done by the side of Recon 5. Two players tagged down to under half HP, and Typhoon isn't looking fantastic either. Nonetheless, though, Gorilla Gang will push down Banana, try to get some of this aggressive control. When the smoke starts to dissipate, maybe Asuna will be in for a rough surprise here. Molotov will go out, and they'll start trying to retake some of this presence. Two instant frags. Leaf will have none of it whatsoever. We'll back off over to the B site. Flash out. Alt mid from Castro as well. Now Recon 5 might be left wondering, what is their best plan from here? Castro has no worries whatsoever. Immediately takes down Mac 1 over by alt mid. Flashing that knife around. Jeez, he is quick on that thing. Wreck Monster is the only one waiting over at the A site here. And I don't believe he even has a chance. If they clear that site correctly, there it is. Immediate assassination. And that's surely going to be a 7th round on the board for Recon here. Leaf, he's going to try going for most likely an exit frag here. But considering Recon 5 have gone out of this ran round completely unscathed, not even a single point of damage being taken, they need to probably take this time to think about what they need to do for the coming round. It's starting to get to the point here where Recon 5 are putting up a tremendous T-side already. And this map, well, at least on paper, is a CT one if you look at win rates, but... Recon 5, they're playing this extremely safe here. You see that they're not even going towards Leaf whatsoever, even though they only know he has a Deeg on hand. Castro, though, will go ahead and finish things up. A double for him. Find two crucial kills, but really, it was all done and dusted as soon as they lost their first two players over towards Banana. Recon 5 are looking very, very good right now. Gorilla Gang, Gorilla Gang, excuse me, have a lot to answer for, and it looks like it's going to come out again in the form of Mac one picking up the AWP. I want to see if he tries switching up his his position, because I didn't see it get a lot of effectness, effectiveness excuse me, on the first round. He did buy it. Early utility damage goes out onto Freshy. Not enough to write home about, but it is going to put him within one shot range of that M4. But a fantastic double stack of grenades onto Typhoon is going to tag him down to under half. That is how you do utility damage, apparently, as he will re smoke. Leaf 
cowering behind the car right now, desperately wants to find a frag, but looks away, probably anticipating a counter flash or something like that. Unfortunately, nothing whatsoever. Typhoon will luckily find a consolation frag in return, even things up to a 4 on 4, but Econ 5 have a lot of map control to work with here. Seeming like they want to go for an A execute just based off of the smokes. That's going to be an arc side smoke going out. Mac 1 going to respond to this, still actually hold the angle. As Typhoon is low in HP, he'll cower over towards B. Recon 5 are still playing this very, very slow. They still have a lot of time to work with. They're in no rush. I think they might have found their final destination, though, as they are all grouping up over towards mid. Still have a little bit of utility to work with. It's not crazy, mind you, but it's good enough. Mac 1 holding down mid, finds the first shot cleanly, peeking it for a second, actually he's going to be able to get it, not anticipating a third, Castro will go ahead, finally trade that out, but this is a round that Gorilla Gang should be winning right now, it's another 3 on 2, this time they don't even have the bomb down, Castro is stuck in a 1 on 3, only finds a first, but nearly the second on Alexander. We'll close things out, and Gorilla Gang will finally get their first round on the board here, after a long drought of 7. They had to work pretty hard for it, but they finally are going to get their first on the board here, and because of that, they're going to be rewarded with a buy. It's not exactly the strongest. They are going to have to bring out those FAMASs, which, again, if you are just tuning in, have been reduced in price by about 200 bucks. I'm seeing an interesting alt mid stat coming out from Recon 5 immediately. I would imagine they want to go ahead and try to up the pace here over towards A as also known as pushing out towards mid. Freshie has already gone down, making this a stunted push for Recon 5. Boss Matt still wants to go ahead and try their hardest to push into the site. It's only going to be good for one kill before Alexander takes out also not very swiftly here. They make it onto the bomb site and most likely get a plant down. That Nate nearly dunking right onto Castro, unfortunately, is just a little bit off. Maltos will come in from Gorilla Gang. This should be another retake that they should win. Konpeki gets it off to a pretty terrible start, though. Finds that first kill on the Leaf. Mac 1 inching around the corner over towards port side. We'll toss out a smoke towards Pit. Konpeki, however, he's still in the round here. He's still waiting around the corner. He's going to be given a free sight line. It's going to be good for actually both. It was actually Castro who stole all the glory there, but I could have sworn that was Konpeki. <laughs> Another pause will come out, and Gorilla Gang, they're back to square one here. They have that single round to work with, but they weren't able to get the desperate follow-up that they needed, and that loss bonus isn't looking very pretty for them. They're sitting at about $3,000 each, some of them even more dismal. Typhoon immediately has decided to force up a deagle in full armor here, so... I mean, considering how many pauses were com are coming out right now, I'm a little bit interested if Gorilla Gang are going to try to switch something up. It always seems to be on these ego rounds. I imagine they are tactical, but I haven't seen any crazy tactics come out. We've seen that single nade stack a little bit earlier on. That's about it, though. Nade stack looks like will be coming out yet again. Wasn't too effective the first time around, but maybe they can put on a show this time here. Triple down banana, does a little bit onto Asuna, but that's it. Effectively $900 gone, all for a little bit of damage. Typhoon is in a cheeky position over towards Boiler, immediately taken care of though, no problem for you. And it's just another day cleaning up for Recon 5 here. Won't go down flawlessly though, as Alexander struggling to stay alive. Nearly actually gets that one dig onto Asuna, but we'll find a kill nonetheless. And I have to give a big shout out to Castro right now, sitting at 15 and 3. He's been having a pretty fantastic game. Sometimes stealing away frags that I wasn't expecting. Like that time he was sitting on site in that 3 versus 2, but really, I feel like Recon 5 has been best as soon as they start planting that bomb. Their post plants have been very, very strong. Gorilla Gang. Have been doing too well on that front. Alexander going to be going for an aggressive push out towards mid. Leaf immediately goes down over at the opposing site. And Freshie is actually going to go ahead, even things up for himself by walking into a Molotov for a good amount of time. Castro, at the expense of a little bit of, or a lot of bit of damage, excuse me, taken, will go ahead and find another frag, effectively putting them in the lead. And this is bad news for Gorilla Gang here. Considering they have not won, I believe, a single man down situation so far. This map. And things are at a little bit of a standstill right now. As Recon 5 
They know they have a lot of time to work with here. Kanpeki over towards alt mid finds a frag onto a pushing wreck monster. That's exactly why you want to be patient with it, because sometimes they'll just walk straight into your crosshairs. Asuna has his crosshair ready over towards CT soon, I would imagine. The execute will happen over towards B here. There's a smoke in. Typhoon will be ready, waiting, hopefully able to hit some of these shots. He sprays and he misses. Luckily, Mac-10 there, trying to pick up the slack. He's only going to be good for two, and that is it. Done and does if Recon 5 have already made it to double digits on Inferno here. And it's really stuff like that that I guess shows off what Gorilla Gang are really struggling with. Typhoon, he was one of my players to watch when we did a player highlight a little bit earlier on. But he seems to be struggling. Only sitting at 5 and 10 right now. Not that his teammates are doing much better. He's tied for the lowest. But it's not all frags that you need to worry about. Because Mac 10 has been topping the server. But he's been getting a lot of these late op picks that his team hasn't been able to capitalize on like last round where he did manage to pick up two but it was all for naught impact frags need to start coming in soon because the t side is starting to run away with this one but gorilla gang have yet to drop a map i believe this entire season surely they won't start now This most likely won't be the round for them to win, considering Mac 1 is the only one with any sort of upgrade artillery, and especially since a push is happening over towards B here, Leaf is forced to back up, the site effectively given to Recon. This plant will go down. Rotate's coming in from the CTs here, so I imagine they actually want to try going for this here. Really, there's no harm, no foul in doing so. Mac 1 is going to be holding down Banana, everyone pushing in. Likely just padding the stats of Recon 5 right now, though. They do not look scathed at all. This post plant is looking clean. I like these positions from Gorilla Gang, though. They're trying to stay in aggressive positions. That way they can at least try to get one exit here. But they're not ready for the entire cavalry of the T side here. Alexander will find one kill, but it is just another day at the job for Recon 5 here. They'll go up to 11. Mac 1, who has saved that Mag 7, will also lose his life, so really nothing good to take from that round for Gorilla Gang here. There's no silver linings, honestly, that you can take, considering they've just been completely stomped. The few silver linings that you can take come in the form of Mac 1 here, who has been doing pretty well when he has brought out the AWP, only been able to piece together one round, however. And I want to see if this is going to be a switch up from Mac 1 whatsoever. At all. It looks like he's going to be trying to boost his teammate onto porch. Asuna, very dangerously low on HP. He's going to be stuck in towards tree here. So perhaps this is a good start for Gorilla Gang as Typhoon is starting to push up. Actually in a fantastic spot to at least find one kill. Finds the second one through the smoke. That's onto the low Asuna. And finally, another man advantage in favor of Gorilla. Or Gorilla. Yeah, that's her name. Gorilla Gang, excuse me. Conti will go ahead, retrieve the bomb. And choose the site to push as Kompeki, prodding over towards apps, hasn't found much of anything. The control is not in their favor whatsoever. And in fact, Gorilla Gang have all teamed up to take it together. Mac 1, holding that same AWP angle that we saw him on a couple of rounds prior. He did pretty well finding 2. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to win the round for them, but it's a good start. If he can do it again, especially when you have a man advantage like this, perhaps it could be your golden ticket to a second. However, Recon, they're primed for it. He misses that first shot going through. Wreck Monster actually finds a double. There's that follow-up from Mac 1. And finally, second round on the board from Gorilla Gang here. The best they can secure at this point, excuse me, is that 11-4. It's not exactly pretty. Another pause coming out here. And I believe that's the 4 out of the 4 that they are allowed. However, Recon 5, you would imagine, are going to go ahead and try to take advantage of this pause as well. And, of course, it paused for some reason. That was weird. However, even if Gorilla Gang do end up losing this map here, there's still plenty more Counter-Strike to be played. Mirage and Dust 2 will be our next couple.
another freeze time going through, another Mac, or excuse me, another Mac 1 AWP in hand. Rec Monster was a big one to really care about last round here as he found that very vital 2k on top of Porch. Actually secured them the round, Mac 1s was really just for show, it was almost done at that point, it was a 1 on 4. Interesting setup early on here from Recon 5 though, as you see Freshy is over towards Banana very early on, almost everyone else in alt mid, we saw this a little bit earlier. It worked out relatively well for them. Let's see if they can recreate history here, as they're trying to push up towards mid, being very, very careful about it though. And here comes a push, over towards A, Wreck Monster only finds one for his trouble, everyone else will soon down him as the T's are starting to immediately push in towards the A site here, Alexander dangerously low on HP, Mac 1 still staying alive, only finds a single kill though, and the bomb will get guaranteed planted for Recon 5 here as they're stuck in another 2 versus 3 retake here, Gorilla Gang been really bad on these retakes so far, but it looks like they finally have learned their lesson here. Konpeki will go down immediately. It's a third round on the board for Gorilla King, finally chaining together two of them, and finally winning a post-plant, which is, well, I mean, they haven't exactly had the best record of it so far. It's a welcome change from them, but they're going to need a lot more rounds where that came from. Most likely be coming on their T side. Last round of half here. Both teams will be buying up the absolute maximum that they can here. We're still seeing a decent beat of, be, excuse me, a decent amount of Krieg play coming out, rather. As Conti will be picking up one as well. Castro still lighting up the server for his team right now, setting at 18 and 6. Nice in the server. Immediate flash from alt mid. Well, they have wasted utility, perhaps from Gorilla Gang, but Alexander just got a ton of information. They know that apartments has already been seized super early on, and you see this triple stack over towards port side as well, of Wreck Monster being boosted up. Alexander surely to back up into pit, as been his favorite location. Typhoon jump spotting over towards B, excuse me, but all the action is hoping, happening over at the opposing site, excuse me. Leaf. Able to go ahead, stem the wound a little bit here, but here comes a push over towards B. Typhoon desperately trying to back up, tossing out a few smokes as well, calling for rotates. They have another man advantage. This should be a shoe in for them, but it's not over yet. Freshy is the only one over towards A. If you notice, the bomb is actually being rotated over towards B. Hello, what was that from Freshy? A couple of taps down, finds the head of Typhoon. And Freshy will join Conti here, who has made his way up towards Arch, now starting to run. The pressure is on Gorilla Gang right now, and they are none the wiser to it. Alexander, you're going to learn too late here. The bomb has already been planted here. That's a post-plant. Another safe one for Recon 5 now, as they're going to get a lot of time ticked off for free, just by the time Gorilla Gang wants to start pushing this. A moto smoke as well. As, oh, it's really just going to go ahead, toss salt in the wound, as Gorilla Gang... They have to force up everything that they can here. They have two kits to work with, a tiny bit of utility. They have a Molotov and a Nade. That could effectively zone out one place, which most likely will be Freshy. But the bomb is starting to get relatively ticked by this point. It needs to start happening soon. Molotov in from Conti. It's not going to do anything for them. Recon 5 make it a 12-3 half. That was absolutely massive from the T side there. Dragging rotations over from Freshy. Who did tap down the head of Typhoon, who was that B anchor, ever present as usual. Brought those rotations over from Gorilla Gang, and it is unfortunate from Alexander because they were, I guess, quick on the rotate at the very least, but it was already too late. 12 3 half is dominant as ever, and perhaps one of the best score lines he could hope for on T side of Inferno here. They will be switching over to the defensive side now, and this is where things could start getting interesting here. I don't exactly have the stats of how Gorilla Gang have performed on their T side, but again, they had a very fantastic regular season entering the advanced playoffs as the first seed. And also have a very stacked roster of players in their own right. Recon 5 has gotten off, gotten off to a very, very good start. But perhaps this isn't the end of Inferno just yet here. Only needing four more rounds to secure it, Recon. Now would be their time to start making noise, Gorilla Gang. Lest they go down 1-0 in this best of three series here. In the ESEA Advanced 
round two playoffs. You have to imagine both teams are just going to be trying to talk things out right now. There is a lot that commenced that half. A lot of it, I feel like, really is on Gorilla Gang losing a lot of those really vital post plants. That's not something you really should have to worry about. I mean, thing is from CTs is that every single time Gorilla Gang did have like a you know at least a one man advantage heading into some of these retakes, but just weren't able to win them. Whether it was just from you know someone like. Kenpeki finding a very early frag from Pit or something like that. They finally started to get their stuff together towards the end of that first half, but it was only good enough to partially stop the bleeding that they're doing and half secured a 12 3 half. But we've seen crazy comebacks happen. It's hard to count the number one seed out just after a rough half like that, especially when some of the players are still very, very impressive in their own right individually. Players most likely taking a little bit of a bathroom break as well. And, well, as soon as I start mentioning it here, it looks like we are going to go ahead head right into the second half here. In case you guys are just joining here, it's Gorilla Gang down 12-3 versus Recon 5 CS. My name is Ito, and I'm really happy to be bringing you this match here. And interesting, we're seeing a double dually setup from Recon 5 here. It looks like Castro decided to drop theirs. Single smoke in the hands of Conti. We'll be going ahead tossing it towards Banana very early on, I would imagine. However, Gorilla Gang immediately going up towards mid here. Gonna go ahead and make a big name from themselves here, but the big frags from pretty much everybody on Recon 5 are not good enough to find anything here. Alexander stuck in a 1 versus 4, but they're still well over a minute and 30. He finds a first, but nearly finds a second. Not without Freshy being there to save the day. And Recon 5 will win another pistol round. That was a very, very quick one, though. Usually you would expect a little more tactical depth, especially when you're down such a big margin here. But I guess Gorilla Gang really wanted to have a lot of, I guess, expectations heading into this next round. They didn't get that bomb planted. And that's only going to make things worse here as they're stuck onto Deagles. Really nades coming through. Leaf. What are your plans over towards Banana, my man? That Molotov is eventually going to go ahead, zone him out. A nade for good measure as well. Puts him within one-shot range for that FAMAS, which is important enough. As he's a theoretical big gun on the side of Gorilla Gang right now. The only one with an SMG. Have a Gorilla Gang after a less than tactical first round here. Hello, Wreck Monster. What did you just do over towards A? Finds a single frag. Freshy trades it out, though. That's on to Asuna, interestingly enough, who is a, I believe, second top fragger on their team right now. Second top scoring, but really, having someone like Asuna down is a pretty good look for you if you want to go ahead and try to win a round, especially on a force buy like this. Gorilla Gang have it all to deal with. Now pushing it over towards Arch side. It's still all quiet on the western front here. You have to imagine that they're going to try to do a wrap through CT, interestingly enough. And this could actually start getting very dangerous very soon here. Because Gorilla Gang, they're doing a contact play wrap through CT here. Conti, I don't believe, will be expecting this. If they were to peek CT, might be in for a nasty surprise. The Deke Shot gave it away here. And because of that, now Castro and Conti can play super passive here. Those rotates will be rushing in from the side of Recon 5 here. But the time is on Gorilla Gang right now. Castro is going to get immediately taken out. Bomb planted. And Conti, who isn't stuck, who, excuse me, stuck in the middle of all this chaos, will get taken out as well. And just like that, Gorilla Gang might have actually just found another round on the board here. Thanks for that very smart play. Wrapping through CT. Freshy gets domed. And Kanpeki will be the last to fall in that round. Gorilla Gang on a force up will only drop a single player in Wreck Monster who it's also important to mention was in apartments for the entirety of that round and also did find a frag onto Osaka. Big heads up play by Gorilla Gang, keeping their head in the game. It was a pretty fantastic performance on that force up. And now it's going to be Recon 5's turn to try to do the same to them. They're stuck under full deagles. Almost no utility to speak of, save for a single flashbang in the hands of Freshy, who I believe will be going for a Freiburg flash. Molotov going down. Good nade onto Conti and Castro. 
Flash will be coming through. Asuna immediately taken out, though. That's over towards A. Towards Alt Mid in particular, I should say. Kanpeki does not want to take that fight. There's a flash through over towards Banana. No one spotted. This should be big news now because the Gorilla Gang have probably started to worm their way in towards the A site here. Good smoke. Well, that's a missed flash from Leaf. Unfortunate stuff. <laughs> Actually gonna play. <laughs> oh, oh, Leaf, you're having a bad round right now, aren't you? <laughs> Happens to the best of us, but really, that's not a mistake you should be making late into the game like this. Kanpeki will be the only one holding down Pit here. This is going to be a rough one, but he delivers at least on one kill here. Enough to buy time for some rotates, however. Conti, what is that? Finds a double kill, and suddenly it's back-to-back -back eco round wins. Gorilla Gang have had their time in the limelight, but it's Conti who really lights up the server with a triple kill of his own. As Eagle Force Up, everyone's doing their best tens impression, it seems. As Recon's five, they're going to be good for 14 rounds here. Gorgeous play by Conti, really the star of that round. Only two rounds away from securing the first map here in the ESEA Advanced Playoffs. Second round. Castro and Conti will be holding some aggressive banana control this time around. It's interesting to note that they won't have a player who's helping them out in terms of that flashbang. Good KZ skills from Freshie though to get into a strong position on top of Flower Pot. We saw Wreck Monster abuse us a lot on the CT side. Maybe they're watching for it. Kanpeki is on the opposing side at Arch. That nade actually should do quite a bit on to Alexander. Indeed it is. 60 HP left on that man. But Gorilla Gang have started to push their way in towards B. We saw them when they took B before. It was through CT that they did all their dirty work. It's going to be substantially harder this time around. Considering Recon 5 are way more well equipped and ready for this push. Everyone has grouped up for Gorilla Gang here. Here comes the fall. The T's all pushing in here. They're gonna find absolutely nothing. Conti, you're continuing your murder onto all the T's right now. It's gonna be Leaf left alive. One on five. Finds his first frag, but really has a long way to go here. This is nearly an impossible situation. 35 seconds left to go. Doesn't have the time, nor the bomb, nor any utility to do this with. Double smoke coming out. A little bit of miscommunication, but really, the proof is all in the little things right now. Leaf is the only one left alive. His position actually not known. Asuna able to find that frag and nearly tags down another two through the smoke. This is still most likely unwinnable from Leaf, unless he somehow manages to frag out hard, and, well, Freshy will put a stop to it. He put on a good show for us, but wasn't enough for... I mean, pretty much anything other than two kills, a little bit of economic damage. But as we're heading into the potential last round of the first map here, Gorilla Gang are going to need to mount the comeback of a lifetime here. 11 match points to work with here. Recon 5, they're looking golden on Inferno. Four sets from Gorilla Gang here. It's not pretty what they have to work with, but it's all they got. Especially since Mac 1 is already tagged down to about half HP. This is looking worse and worse by the moment, but we've seen crazy plays work out for them last time. It looks like they're going to be going with Old Faithful here. A wrap through CT. This time, they're going to be ready for it. Kompeki only finds one. Asuna is there to receive all the T's wrapping in. Nearly finds a third one. There it is. Finishing, finishing things off, excuse me, with that USP. A little bit messy, sure. Only dropping two players, but Recon 5 are going to absolutely demolish on Inferno here. We will be moving on to Mirage for our second map here. I'm going to go ahead and toss it to a break. We'll be back as soon as we can. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Ito. We'll be back very, very soon. Fire
It's a useless waste of time I don't care what's on your mind The truth is never for us to find We could lock arms all day But really who cares what we say We will be lost before we fade <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
It's a useless waste of time I don't care what's on your mind The truth was never for us to find We could walk homes all day But really who cares what we say We will be lost before we Searching for salvation Can we find our way back, way back? Caught up in confusion Need a resolution Can we find our way back, way back? No more running, no more running, no more chasing No more running, now I'm running out of patience a wrap through CT. This time they're going to be ready for it. Compeki only finds one. Osana is there to receive all the T's wrapping in. Nearly finds a third one. There it is. Finishing, finishing things off. Excuse me. With that USP. A little bit messy, sure. Only dropping two players. But Recon 5 are going to absolutely demolish on Inferno here. We will be moving on to Mirage for our second map here. I'm going to go ahead and toss it to a break. We'll be back. A wrap through CT this time.
Welcome back, everybody, for the second map of Recon 5 versus Gorilla Gang for the ESEA Advanced Round 2 Playoffs here. My name is Ito, and I'm happy to bring you all the action. We saw Recon 5 with a very, very dominant map 1, an upset versus Gorilla Gang here, winning it in a dominant 16-4 fashion here. Hopefully, Gorilla Gang can strike back, and really, it looks like they're starting off with a pretty good start, though, considering they open up the site almost immediately and get that bomb planted with a minute and 30 on the clock. About as dominant as he could do it. Four versus three, excuse me. As Castro is able to strike back with one kill. Doesn't get the second, though, unfortunately. Typhoon just immediately assassinates him with a shot to the dome, but luckily everybody else is kind of doing all the favors for him. Hello there, Kempeki. Just did all the work there. A triple for him. Gonna go ahead and continue this dominant streak for Recon 5 here. As, of course, is my luck auto director is looking at the wrong person throughout that entire thing. I think I'm just gonna try to take control of it manually. Uh, there we are. Round number two, Recon 5, in a disadvantageous situation, actually somehow managed to come back, retake that bomb site, and win it in a dominant fashion here, and, well, you're gonna see them get rewarded pretty heavily with that. As you see, they have a triple FAMAS set up with a single AUG, and it looks like, well, they also had an M4, but that M4 player is now gonna have to do all the work considering Conti with that FAMAS and Stone actually went down. Meanwhile, over on A here, you see pushing out will be Leaf, making his way under Palace right now, getting a lot of good spam damage onto Castro. However, Castro stays alive just by the sheer force of working with those angles here. However, Gorilla Gang are really not letting off the break at all. And they're now going to be stuck in a 2 on 2, getting that bomb down here. So this should be another round on the board for Gorilla Gang here, but not without Kempeki to go ahead and make some noise of it. Finds that first one. He's been so good on these retakes, like, immediately. Not only for this map, but just all maps in general. Freshie will go ahead and get the last one. But really, that's Kempeki all the way there for finding that first vital frag. It's gotta be another round on the board for Recon CS. However, Gorilla Gang can take a lot of good stuff from that. It's important to mention that they did actually manage to get the bomb down and also take down three CTs along with it. So the CTs are going to have to rebuy into this, including... Uh, actually, no, I believe they managed to save the M4 here, that all going down. So it's not the worst situation economically for Recon 5, but Gorilla Gang, because of that, they can be awarded with buying up those Galils, a single AK in the hand of Typhoon, who's going to look to entry out towards mid here. Finds Kompeki, can't quite thread the needle on some of those shots, so... He will get tagged down to 74 HP, but it's really almost nothing to write home about. Wreck Monster, who is pushing through. Excuse me, that was actually through Connector. Well, get demolished by that grenade. Over in Connector. You see Typhoon holding down the angle. Takes down Castro with a quick shot to the head. However, Konpeki is in a very strong position still. Holding CT, making sure A isn't opened. Typhoon... That's a little bit to worry about here, considering Conti is watching his angle if he were to push through jungle. Not scared yet, though, Typhoon. We're going to be waiting for his teammates to push in all the way into market here. They haven't made any noise yet. These gorillas have been quiet on their feet. We'll get a bomb plant down. Conti, very cautious, watching their back as they're stuck into another retake situation. Doesn't want to take any shots. Want to try to minimize the amount of noise that they're making. Typhoon gets a very vital kill onto Kempeki here. Four on two now. It's going to be a four on one. It's, it's going to be Freshy left alive. All alone to clutch against almost the entirety of the Gorilla Gang who have come back with a vengeance and are looking to get that first on the board here. Freshy's going to make it at the very least expensive for them, but he actually wants to try to commit to this as he finds a third. Now on... For the 4k here, he's stuck the bomb, but really, he's out of time at this point. He made it very expensive, finding some gorgeous shots onto some of the members of the Gorilla Gang, but really, not quite enough to finish up the round. He actually finishes it up with a fourth kill as well, so really, heads up play from Freshy, making a lot of noise in that round that they ended up losing anyway. If only he managed to get that bomb defused, that would have been golden, but Gorilla Gang will finally get their first on the board, but... It's not pretty. They lose all their players while doing it. It's really hard to say that 
that was something that they should have stuck, considering that they were posted up on that angle. Plus, he didn't have a kit available. Wreckful! I just called him Wreckful. He's not a streamer. <laughs> I don't know what I am on today. Wreck Monster, excuse me. Pushing it through window on to B. We'll actually find one kill, but Freshy is still doing God's work here. Over on the B site. Frags are going the way of the Gorilla Gang right now. This pistol round, or excuse me, this force up round isn't exactly working out for Recon 5. However, they hope, but they still have managed to make a lot of good come out of it here. Caster down to a single bullet. And that FAMAS is back one. Sneaking under the window. He's being very crafty with this one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not sure if Castro is going to be ready for it. This is where things might get dicey. There it is from Castro. Fantastic flick shot. Winning that one versus two. That's how you do it. It's going to be Castro again. Clutching out for his team. We saw him do it. A lot of miracle work on map number one. And I'm glad to see that he's still performing on the second map as well. Recon 5. Looking pretty okay. So far on Mirage here. Quick Molotov out. Aggressive. Ready to deal with any Gorillas that might be trying to push up ramp early on with these pistols. If you've been watching mid. Trying to prod it. Start to discover that there's almost no one watching it except for Kempeki. He could be a thorn in their sides here should they try to push or boost into window. Hasn't spotted anything yet, and they're going to go ahead and just sidle right by him. Asuna and Castro. We'll be holding down this site together here. Some shots going down, but Castro quick on the trigger. Goes ahead and trades out. It's almost nothing that the, CT the T's can do right now, excuse me, as it's Wreck left all alone here. Doesn't even find that first frag. A fantastic jump up from Conti to find their first frag of the game. When you're hitting shots like that, you know for sure it's going to be far from the last you're going to get. I'm going to see a double from Moss commit here, as well as an MP9 on Freshy. See that they're being very conservative with their money here. Gorilla Gang have a lot better, a lot stronger artillery to work with here. Their utility isn't perfect, but it's going to be enough to get a solid execute done with here. You have a couple of smokes to work with. A single flash is not perfect, sure, but... And get some good map control from it. That's not a good start, though. Kanpeki, how did he get away with that peak? Managed to take down Typhoon. Four versus five, just like that. And that advantage that I was talking about from Gorilla Gang is just dissipated in a moment. Wreck Monster should be able to find this kill. Watching the angle that Kanpeki likes to hold in window. And it's going to be good for the frag. Kanpeki, not quite ready for that. We'll toss out a smoke towards window to ward off any Recon 5 members. Getting their way in towards mid. You see Asuna trying to push him behind the smoke. Wants to go in for a cute angle of his own. Leaf is going to open things up onto the A site, making it a four on three. Castro immediately taken down, and it's a free bomb plant for Gorilla. I don't know what to call a Gorilla like as a short hair. Maybe the gang? It's a free, it's a quick bomb plant for the gang. Mac Monster finds a double, same position as before. Going to be going for third cell as he wants to try to fail, find a kill onto Conti, excuse me, who will actually upgrade onto an AK-47. Not out of this round just yet, but I'm sure they aren't going to go for the retake here. Much less so after Asuna goes down. You can imagine a little bit of spam coming out from Mac 1, leaving it up to Conti. Try to save this AK here. Takes that first fight, but shouldn't try to take any more. Will lose their life. Flying too close to the sun and burning up. As you see right now, Recon 5 currently double the score of Gorilla Gang right now. Both teams will go ahead try to buy up here. Again, not looking very pretty for Recon 5. Their economy hasn't really been in a good place for a lot of this game, unfortunately. But they managed to string together some really important rounds. But usually, Gorilla Gang have made it expensive. Good nade play from Freshy. Unfortunately, doesn't find a lot of utility damage. It's a Mac 9. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the MP9 that does all the work there. It's just a cleanup. Nothing is going well for Gorilla Gang right now over towards the B site here. As all attempts have been snuffed out in a moment's notice. Recon 5 go up on 5. Saying truth to their name. And Gorilla Gang, considering that was a buy-up round from them, that was very lukewarm. And not a lot you can take from this. Pause will come out from Gorilla Gang right now and... I'm sure that is a very well-justified one. 
You didn't really make much happen there. Maybe it's time to stay out of the B site. Maybe it's time to at least slow it down a little bit. I've noticed Gorilla Gang, they haven't had a lot of success all the time when they're trying to push very, very quickly without that map control. We saw it on the pistol round. It worked out pretty well for them over towards the B site. They actually did manage to get the bomb down, unfortunately just losing in that retake scenario. Another force up. Another day, another force up here. Gorilla Gang on the T side here. Not off to the hottest start in the world, but they still have a very workable scoreline here. It's going to be a hard ask for them to actually manage to get away with winning this round here. But if they start getting some guns in their hands, perhaps we could see something interesting. That Molotov is doing a fantastic job at warding off the T's, so though. Is that good enough to allow them to get into strong enough positions? Castro choosing not to hold under Palace just yet. Oh my god, what a fat nade that was from... Castro, by the way, single-handedly carrying that utility damage st stat, isn't he? We'll be moving over to Sandwich. Perhaps a little bit of a safer location. However, Mac one finds that first one on Kempeki. Castro is just having a day at the buffet right now. A day at the shooting range, perhaps, as he's going to find four. Nearly wants to ace this. But unfortunately, Typhoon will put a stop to it. He will burn alive for that sin that he did. Castro makes it look easy, and, well, perhaps that's because it was. They all had pistols there, but I'm surprised he wasn't trade out, traded out quicker. If they started to commit to that sandwich position a little more, I feel like Castro wouldn't have gone as massive as he did, but really, he's just padding his stats right there, sitting at 11 right now. And Recon 5, that's a healthy economy that I wanted to see from them. Full utility, an AWP in the hands of Con er, Konpeki, excuse me. And immediately we're seeing a double smoke play over towards mid. So mid control immediately sees from the Gorilla Gang. Push out through underpass over towards B from Recful, Rec Monster. Why do I keep calling him Recful Monster? I've watched too much LSF, dude. This is unbelievable. Push up towards mid. Austin, as soon as the smoke dissipates, might want to try peeking mid. We'll back up, though. Knows that it's a dangerous fight to take. Castro isn't scared of your fights at all. Finds the first one onto Leaf. Asuna now rotating back and forth between window and connector. Window and jungle, I should say. Will now make his way into CT here. A much more passive location, surely, to be rotating to help his teammate out. But Kompeki, who has an aggressive stance over towards Palace right now, should be giving off some signals that most likely aren't going to push through a relatively standard angle. A boost into Windows, what Gorilla Gang are going to be going for. And it might actually work out for them, because I think Asuna... Okay, well, actually watching the angle doesn't matter, though. Wreck Monster finds a monster kill onto Asuna here. But really, Recon 5 are just cleaning up for the most part. The trades are coming in too little too late at this rate. Freshy, who's holding down the B site in a very safe position over by Bench. Whoop! Actually not get snuffed out by Wreck Monster. Finds a kill coming out on top of the M4. It's Mac 1 stuck in a 1 on 3 here. Finds the first one to Freshy. Getting revenge for his teammate here. And actually has a Krieg to work with in this post plant here. So this might actually be possible for Mac 1. Especially considering that Castro is relatively low. They're being very careful with how they're pushing up here. Mac 1 really wants to try to divide their fights. However, he's going to be in for some... Quick maths here as dividing his fights gets him nothing in nothing but trouble. Will go down at the hands of Kompeki with that AWP. Didn't make a lot of noise in this round, but held down some very strong positions. Castro will defuse a bomb. And Recon 5 are still looking good. Was made a little bit closer there, but still kind of a lukewarm execute onto the B site from Gorilla Gang here. Really the only reason that round was as close as it was is because of the heroics of Mac 1. That's not something you could be relying on. I think Gorilla Gang are learning that the hard way. Now one player sitting at only a single kill. That's Alexander. This is a fantastic player in his own right, but might just be having a quieter game than normal. Early nade out towards A main. That's a lot of utility used from Castro immediately, and he's going to be punished for trying to push up. Probably punished for trying to take too aggressive of a stance here. Asuna and Kunpeki here. Towards connector actually finds a good tack through the smoke. Good stuff from Asu. Now this nade should be gigantic though. It finds a demolishing 70 damage onto Alexander. So this retake just became infinitely more possible for Recon 5 here. 
Time is of the essence, so they have quite a bit of it to work with. If Conti can find a kill on the Mac 1 here, that would be gigantic. This is looking worse and worse as time goes on for Gorilla Gang. Luckily, one kill will go the way of Typhoon, but there's a long way to go, and it's not working out for Gorilla Gang whatsoever. Recon 5 will defuse the bomb with a gorgeous retake under their sleeve. Low key, the hero there of that round was Conti, who found those masterful two kills over towards CT. Couldn't get punished by nor or Alexander nor Mac One. We're both trying to seize that map control, and we're seeing another pause come out. I can definitely see why. This is a. I mean, it is really just a rough position for them to be in right now. Money isn't fantastic, I would imagine. Well, actually, it's a lot better than I imagined. Forcing up AKs, quite a bit of utility, so finally starting to see those pauses come out outside of those force ups. But Gorilla Gang, I want to see them take a lot more tactical stance to this. Their executes have been very lukewarm. We, I mean, a lot of the times when we're seeing connector smokes, it hasn't been until very, very late. Typhoon? That's a cat smoke, isn't it? So I would imagine they want to try to do a mid-cat split, but Kanpeki will have none of it. That smoke from window just a bit too late. Tags down Mac 1, the top fragging player on their team. Already off to a terrible start for the gang. As they have mid-control, but it's not exactly in a very stable space. Flash will go out towards connector. Leaf will try to take control of it. Has been given up from Recon 5. Castro... Playing with fire right now, this is a dangerous angle for him to be in. More so, especially with Asuna. As Castro goes down, Asuna won't even bother trying to take that fight. They know that is not something that favors them whatsoever. Typhoon surely is going to try to pick up this bomb over towards mid. And now Gorilla Gang have a lot of space to work with here. Wherever they want to try to bring it, most likely towards A. Judging by the positions of Alexander and Leaf in particular. Smoke will go out for Jungle. Flash right behind it. But I do want to keep an eye on Asuna here. Stuck behind the smoke. Still has the potential to go big. But it looks like Con Konpeki, excuse me, is the one lighting it up in the kill feed right now. Asuna does find a kill for their trouble. But it's a 2 on 3. Down from a 2. Or excuse me, now down to a 2 on 2 here. Konpeki, no luck in CT spawn here. Will get taken out. The heroics of Leaf have been fantastic here. But Leaf actually nearly burns alive here. That's climate change for you. And... Wreck Monster finishes things up here, but it was really Leaf who did all the heavy lifting there in that round. Got three kills that previous round, and Wreck just finished things off with the two. Fantastic individual performances from some of these members on Gorilla Gang. Hasn't been enough to chain together a ton of rounds yet. Perhaps this could be the changing of the seasons, though, because Recon 5 now are on a very... Rough eco. Kompeki still has that AWP to play with. And, well, this is a very vital shot that he, in a perfect world, would have hit. Because of that, I feel, or Leaf, excuse me, will stay alive around longer. Wreck, however, just entering out onto the B site, finally gets. Well, assassinated at last, but Konpeki comes back, strikes back with a passion, nearly on for three here, gets shoulder peaked, and doesn't take the life of that T who dared to take the fight. Mac one plants a bomb and looks to be wanting to go for this play here. Peeks out, Konpeki doesn't hit the shot here, and actually gets a return. Mac one single-handedly keeping them in this round, first getting that bomb plant, and getting the follow-up frag. Castro is stuck. Only has a P250 to work with here. This should be on Asuna to try to make this play happen here. Castro actually makes it happen with a P250. Alexander's position give it away. And Asuna is actually going to win it. But is there time left on the clock? I think they actually do have it by a pretty good margin here. Recon 5 are actually going to be able to get away with another retake here. I, did, I was not a believer in that P250 that Castro had. But somehow they managed to get away with it. No one was watching apartments apparently. Back one's position, but was perhaps a bit too ambitious and sitting right outside markets didn't do too well for them. Mac one will be going for that. Well, it looks like yeah, no, gonna be going for that same cat smoke here. This time they want to bring it 
I would imagine by how they're playing here, it's going to be a push from underpass in the window, I would imagine. I'm just a play-by-play. -play. I'm not the color commentator, but who needs color when you see someone like Wreck Monster putting red all over these walls of Mirage here. Also now who's holding down window here has actually snuck behind the smoke, has no idea where least position is, and if you peek out mid, hello, you're just gonna walk right into a firing squad. That's gonna initiate the push for the T side here. Leaf will be leading the charge onto the A site. Made out. Leaf tagged down to a single point of health. Unbelievable that he's staying alive right now. Actually, two players on a single point of health. What is this? Kanpeki could just toss out flashes and perhaps get a kill here. That is absurd. Smoke will go down and that will go ahead secure a safe plant for Gorilla Gang here. This is unbelievable. It's Kampeki most likely just wants to save this up. If only he knows how close the Gorilla Gang are to losing their life here. I wouldn't be surprised if both Leaf and Alexander end up losing their life here if they don't get far enough away from this bomb. Wreck, he's still healthy. No danger for him. And Kampeki will be very content just saving this gun for another round. You can't really blame him here. The economy has been rough for Recon. Sure, they have the lead by dominant margin, but there's absolutely zero need to try to keep it, or try to ruin it, excuse me, especially when you have such a big margin here, especially heading into the last parts of this first half. Gorilla Gang need to start trying something together. 9-6 is the best that they can hope for. And they're looking in a relatively good position to do it. At least get five rounds on the board here, considering Recon 5 will only have a good amount of pistols to work with, that single AWP that Kompeki saved from before, and an MP9 on Castro. Gorilla Gang. There's a good switch up from them. That mid play seems to be their best bet from what I've seen so far. But Recon 5 are inching dangerously closer to taking this map and securing a spot in those MDL regulations. And that's really a scary prospect of it, isn't it? This push is actually happening towards B. Freshy and Conti are going to be in for a rough time here. Conti is going to make it a little bit easier on them, though. Finds that first one onto Alexander. Nearly finds second. However, Freshy peeks out a bit too early. Blows his load a little bit early. I'm not talking about it in a good way here. Kanpeki spots one player jumping over towards Van side. And they have to imagine Mac 1... Is going to be trying to hold this close market angles, but it's actually his teammate Typhoon who's trying to do it this time around, and still 0% success right here in No Nut November. Recon 5 get away with another retake here. Gorilla Gang's post plants have been so weak, honestly. I have not been convinced by them whatsoever here. Recon 5, that is a round that they should not have won by any means. They were stuck onto pistols, a very, very awkward force buy. And considering Freshy, who had a CZ-75, managed to find two kills with it, that's kind of unbelievable. Last round of the half here, Gorilla Gang are going to go ahead, take a little bit of a timeout right now, talk things over. The money isn't perfect, but it's pretty good enough. They have two Kriegs. Galil and AK, and then a Mac-10, interestingly enough, on Wreck Monster. He's been good on pretty much every gun that he's been given. Top fragging on his team. But only four rounds to their name. Not exactly the best resume, Gorilla Gang. They have a lot of that past experience. Again, they had a, I believe, flawless advanced season. But it seemed to be showing up a little bit quiet here, especially in this game, rather. Or perhaps this is partially on Recon 5, who are playing very well on their own. Again, a good read like that. Typhoon tag down to 67 HP, not even 20 seconds into the round. Asuna, don't play with fire here. Alexander tries to do the same here. Kompeki finds the first Asuna with a fantastic double, and just like that, the round's over. Leaf is stuck in a 1-on-5, won't well, even five one, find one, excuse me. It's 11-4 half. A gorgeous, gorgeous half from them, really. And the Gorilla Gangs. What was that? Now, keep in mind, this is the pick from Gorilla Gang as well. You would have to hope that they're going to have a more dominant performance, but really, they're still quiet. The individual performances haven't been, you know, noteworthy either from Gorilla Gang. Again, Typhoon was one of my players to watch here, but hasn't really showed up in any considerable way. We didn't see it much on Inferno either. 
Well, Gorilla 5, they have a lot to answer for here. This half is not shaping up much better than Inferno did. Recon 5 still posting a dominant halftime score. It was 312 on the first, 411 on this next one. At this point, you have to assume that they're just going to take it too well. It's going to take some absolute miracles to have Gorilla Gang somehow manage to come back. They're not in a good state to do it, really. Seems that Gorilla Gang are winning more warm up rounds than actual game rounds. That's not a good sign. And Boggs in the chat actually begs the question, yeah, you have to imagine that Leaf, who actually did depart from this team relatively recently, has still been playing out Gorilla or has still been playing out the playoff, excuse me, with Gorilla Gang. With having Leaf completely leave the team soon. You have to beg the question if that's really messing with their team's chemistry at all. Part of it you can say it's this Recon 5 playing fantastic, sure, but that almost feels like the easy answer out. Because at the same time, the Royal Gang have been struggling. Again, I also want to give a big shout out to Recon 5 Org right now. They're the ones who are making this broadcast possible. They're sponsored by Pride Apparel. They're, again, making this all happen. I'm sure Gorilla Gang, again, they're taking a lot of time to just talk about things right now. Backs up against the wall. Surely it'll be starting soon enough, though. Recon 5 will have their chance to start on the T side here. They've always taken a more tactical approach to it. At least, I mean, at least way much more so than Gorilla Gang. I mean, you, you, I can count the amount of times that, <laughs> really, there's just been a lot of strange executes that Gorilla Gang have been attempting here. It's worked out sometimes as they, again, managed to have scratched together four rounds here. But I'm thinking, for example, a lot of their B-takes, they just rush through apartments very early on. There's no one trying to, like, push from Cat or anything like that. They just got picked out one by one by one, and it didn't work out for them. Motivational speeches are over now for Gorilla Gang here, and now it's time for them to do the real thing here. They're going to be on the T side this, or excuse me, the CT side this time around, and they're going to need to mount an incredible comeback here. Recon 5, the 8th seed in ESEA Advanced, going up against Gorilla Gang and have, are nearly on the point of upsetting. You see Gorilla Gang are going to be forcing up a little bit of utility. Mac 1 with double flashes as well as a kit here. Prime for a pop. But here come the smokes onto the A site. Wreck Monster is going to be the man to watch right now as he's sitting in Sandwich. This was a strong position. It seems that it's going to be delivering. Finds a quick double. Nearly tries to find a third. This is already looking a lot better for Gorilla Gang right now. Compeki, the only remaining player on Recon 5 right now, will only find that one kill. Taking out Wreck Monster. It was very quick. A very quick execute, excuse me, from Recon 5 onto the A site. Did not work out for them whatsoever here. They weren't ready for that sandwich position, and pretty much everyone else hitting all the shots that they needed to. Gorilla Gang are going to be awarded with a pretty healthy buy. And Gorilla Gang are already getting it off to a good start here. At a six round deficit, sure, but that will start to shrink more and more as time goes on. And check this out here. Recon 5 are going for a classic ma matchmaking strat here. They're having four players push out towards B here, wasting a lot of utility, if nothing else, from the Gorilla Gang. Excuse me, I'm uh, hiccuping. But Castro is just waiting in apartments right now with this bomb. Wants to be going for the sneaky plant here, and really sometimes that's all you need. Leaf is still holding down the A site, though. Should be able to snuff out Castro without too much issue here. And Recon 5 have started to slow this down. They're really trying to pull this fake here. Castro has not moved an inch. Mac one might have a little bit of a field day here. It's just going to be some eek around clean kill, or some clean eek around kill, sure, but that's enough to line the pockets of him, surely. Castro, still alive, though, and this is kind of surprising, though. Recon 5 have actually made it onto the site, and the bomb will go down, so their plan worked out just fine here. Gorilla Gang, they're already wise to it, though. Their monkey brains have processed this, and, well, no chance for you, Castro. You got the bomb down, sure, but, you know, I mean... Actually, all things considered, not too bad from Recon 5 whatsoever. Also dropping two players for pretty much $300 was their total cost. So, a good eco round 
in the hands for Recon 5. It's a classic strat, but I guess it worked just fine for them. Gorilla Gang will go up on 6, an expected result for them. This is where things are going to start getting interesting for Recon 5, though. Let's see if they can extend their lead here. They're going to be able to buy up guns. And Gorilla Gang, well, they're stuck onto that MP9, that FAMAS, and most likely an M4 on Mac, I would imagine. No, he's actually choosing the FAMAS up here. That way he can get full utility. Respectful in its own right here, so they're taking a lot more of a tactical approach this time around. Smoke out towards mid. Typhoon wants none of this mid fight, though. They're just going to go ahead, give it to the T's. Control relatively clean. They're not pushing too far now. Waiting for some of these smokes to dissipate. Asuna is an aggressive position over towards Apps. I think he's made a little bit of noise. Mac 1 might be proned onto their position here. Castro is actually the first face to fall here at the hands of Alexander. Had a quiet first half and a quiet first map. Seems to be starting to make some noise though, at least for now. As he's stuck in the ladder room. Sinking right below him will be Freshy trying to peek out. Smoke out towards Connector. Asuna finds that very vital frag onto Mac 1. He was holding under window and he was expecting that. I'm really surprised that wasn't able to take out Asuna. And because of that, B-Site will be open. Shouldn't be guaranteed a plant though by any means. But that's going to make it a lot more palatable for Recon 5. Bl bomb plant, excuse me, guaranteed. Just like that here. And Asuna is hungry for more. Wants that triple kill. And well, just... Barely isn't able to finish the shot here. Hungry for the ace, honestly, at this point here. Don't want to hatch your, catch your, excuse me, count your chickens before they hit, though, because that's going to be Konpeki getting away with a frag, sealing that ace potential, and it's going to be Wreckful. Wreckmo I keep calling him Wreckful. Why do I keep calling him Wreckful? I don't get it. That's so weird. Well, Wreck Monster, excuse me, one on three. He finds that first one, but that's all he's going to find. <laughs> that Hearthstone streamer is doing a fantastic job, apparently. And another pause coming through. And I really wish I could tell which side is pausing right now. I would imagine it's again Gorilla Gang, considering that was a gun round from Recon 5 here, and they forced up. And really, quiet performance from some of these players on Gorilla Gang. I mean, Recon 5, on paper, that should have been a round they won. I mean, it makes sense that they did. They had the better art artillery, they had a strong execute onto the B site, but... The fact that it just seems to be so quiet, I mean, really, the thing that confused me the most is that Asuna was able to get that frag on Mac 1, and the rotates were just, like, I mean, a little bit late. Well, Recon 5, it's going to be their time to have a fun day at the shooting range here. Almost a full eco from Gorilla Gang. Only a single flashbang going out as they're going to try to push their way up towards mid here. Conti actually taking a lot of damage. What's this? Gorilla Gang are actually getting a good amount of value. Considering actually taking down Kampeki nearly finds another, but it looks like the excitement is over for them here. He found some good tags onto Freshy and Conti and might be able to secure the frag, but unfortunately, no dice for them. Kampeki will be the only face to fall, the awp -er. Unfortunately, not enough for Gorilla Gang to go off of here as a as Recon 5 go up to 13. And Strong Links, I'm not going to lie, dude. Usually I don't like commentate on chat during the matches, but hey, man, you're one of my favorite casters, and it makes me really happy that I'm actually seeing you in the middle of a match like this. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back into it. Recon 5 here going out immediately. Oh, out towards 8 with a passion here. Typhoon finds an immediate frag. Same thing with Wreck Monster here. Leaf... We'll go ahead and also find another kill for the trouble as well. They're on for a team ace. Theoretically, at this point, Wreck Monster going to steal all potential of that. It's Freshy down. What was that shot from Freshy? Surely he's not going to be able to find another, though. No news for him. Leaf takes care of that. 7-13. to 13. Pretty dominant win by Gorilla Gang, excuse me. Finding kills back to back to back like that. Also not topping the scoreboard. For the entire server, really, sitting at 24 frags. Doing a pretty damn good job. Deagle in the hands of Kon Konpeki. Made out towards a ramp. Very quiet default so far, except for the noise that's being made over towards B. Asuna desperately looking for a jump peek here. Takes a shot a bit too early. Unfortunately, gonna allow Mac 1 to back off safely. 
And oh, actually using the Molotov to try to force him out of position. That's actually good for a lot of damage. I am appalled, really. They managed to find uh, quite a bit of damage on a Mac 1 like that, but it's not a kill, so really can't be excited about it just yet. Mac 1. Still going for those jump peaks yet again. And for old traditional. But the bomb is over towards A right now. And it's come Pecky has made his way out towards ramp. He's gonna be trying to search for a frag, but no dice for him. Bomb will make its way over towards B this time around. Alexander holding down catwalk. Might not be ready for the freshy train. behind the smoke. Things are kind of at a standstill right now. But I feel like the guillotine might fall very, very soon here and Alexander might be the first unfortunate victim here as B execute is going to finally commence from the T side. Alexander is not going to be executed but is indeed going to be the executioner. Finds a double kill. Mac 1 still in a very strong position is going to lock down the B site leaving up to Freshy. 1 on 4. No chance for them of that round. Recon 5. They seem to have absolutely no idea where any of the CTs were, and Gorilla Gang are going to be granted a nearly flawless round with only Typhoon falling. And that's a lot more like the Gorilla Gang that I was expecting. Hitting some really important shots, Alexander finally starting to make a name for himself. I mean, it's important to keep in mind in the second half he has 105 ADR, but only setting up 9 kills, the lowest in the server. Frags aren't everything, but when you have to try to hold off a push like that, stave off a push like that, you're gonna have to hope that you start getting some. Early Molotov out from Gorilla Gang will go ahead and stop any sort of dreams of rushes that Recon 5 might have. Conti has that bomb in hand as well and as it makes its way over towards B, you can immediately, immediately see Konpeki fall over at the A site. Another moment where things are at a standstill here. Gorilla Gang is just holding down each position very, very quietly here, really. Freshy over towards mid here. About to lose this. How did Leaf miss that first shot? We'll be able to follow up and get the frag just fine. But Castro, again with that P250, is unbelievable, really. He's down to a single point of HP here. I don't see him getting away with much more here. And indeed, no. Nothing more for them. As it will be another round on the board for Gorilla Gang. So that lead is starting to close, like I suspected. And as another pause comes through, this time I would imagine it's for Recon 5. Because this is where things are starting to get a little bit scary. Sure, it's a given that you'll drop that last round considering you're on a full eco. But this is your next buy. You really have to try to make the most of it as you can. Especially when you have some very notable players. Such as Asuna. Again, still sitting at 24. Highest in the server by a good margin by... Nearly six, five, actually, excuse me. I know how to count. I trust you. Wreck Monster. As long as you have to get a gun, should be getting an M4 here, but it's interesting to note that Gorilla King have not picked up an op whatsoever. Make control. Should still be secured. Locked down just fine, considering the Krieg does that job just fine. Fulfills its niche. Really top mid smoke. Out from the T side here. It looks like they're going to be going for an immediate A execute. Freshy over towards B. Trying to make noise, perhaps, if nothing else. Just trying to be a pain in the side. Usually it's been, I believe it was awesome now that we've seen doing this a lot. So it's a bit interesting to see another slow A push this time with Asuna traded out for Freshy. We'll back up. Typhoon, who's made his way under Palace right now. Standard position, standard commonplace for the CTs, really. Has a perfect pop flash ready to go though. Typhoon will try peeking behind it. And Castro is none the wiser. It didn't get blinded but wasn't there to react to the shot. Recon 5 nonetheless. So I found two frags. Forcing into a 3 on 4. Guaranteed a bomb plant. Freshy will find another kill. That's salt in the wound really at this point. Recon 5. Surely they're primed to go up on 14 rounds here. Wreck Monster will go ahead. Try to stop the bleeding just a little bit here. As they're nearly on to Freshy. If he were to move forward a few steps, might lose his life. But really, that's going to be all that the Gorilla Gang can do in this round here. They aren't going for this 
Retake here, as you might imagine here. There's a push that I was expecting out of Freshy here. However, Wreckful what Wreck Monster, jeez, I keep on saying that, dude. Wasn't able to get the kill. Hopefully he tries to get it onto Kempeki. Indeed he does. Mac 1 is the one to get the kill onto Freshy. 2-1-2 two two goes out. This is going to be our finishing setting for this round. Recon 5 looking golden. Really having... It seems no problems on these actual gun rounds. It, it feels like when they do win, it's in a very convincing fashion. It never feels like it's a close win or anything like that. It's rough. And Gorilla Gang are going to force out another pause here. I've been seeing quite a few pauses here, and again, it's not hard to see why. Gorilla Gang backs up against the wall right now. This is the number one seed in advance on the verge of going out. This should not be a like a, a match on paper they should be losing whatsoever. And four is down. Mac 1 is going to bring out the big gun. I'm fully intended there. And you see an aggressive mid push coming out from Gorilla Gang here. So there's a switch up that I was starting to expect here. Conti is wise to it though. Fantastic flash from Kempeki. It's going to be good for one frag, but hello Asuna! There you are. Everyone's favorite anime protagonist is going to find a double. Not my favorite though. I don't no, not, not, not into that shit. Fantastic flash plays is going to allow Recon 5 to be primed to go up on 15 here. Typhoon has no clue whatsoever. <laughs> actually reacts to it. Freshy, what were you looking at there? Actually goes down. 2 on 3. Still theoretically winnable, but this is a tough ask from Gorilla Gang right now. Typhoon is going to have to deal with all of Recon 5 here, and they know exactly where he is. That Molotov will flush him out of position. Won't even find that single frag here. Mac 1 left alone in a 1 on 3. Finds the first onto Asuna, the top fragger. But still two more very dangerous players, very lethal players left to go here. Misses the Sean to Kompeki. I believe that was just a little bit to his right. That's so unfortunate and will not be gifted another chance at it. Recon 5 up on 15 rounds now. Six match points for Gorilla Gang to go up against here. And this is looking scarier and scarier as time goes by. Because Gorilla Gang will not have a healthy buy going into the potential, potential last of this series. Strong legs. I believe Kompeki said that he just straight up bought it. <laughs> going ahead and using that Recon 5 salary to their liking. Rec Monster is going for something a little bit this different this time around. It's over towards underpass, not mid, as we saw last time. Standard positions. You see Freshy. There he is, prodding out towards market. Molotov out. I guess Freshy is exposed. Ex expect, excuse me. Uh, expecting a close apartments play. I can't talk, can't I? But this is a tough, tough place for Gorilla Gang to be in. But they made some pretty good positions and some pretty good frags as well. What is this, Recon 5? You're choking at possibly the worst possible time here. They've started to really get away with some of these frags here. Kanpeki will only find one for his trouble. Wreck Monster is spotted and won't get domed. But that even surprised me, and for some reason, I don't know how some of these players got into some of these positions. Castro will retrieve the bomb, 43 seconds left to work with here, and this is actually a very winnable clutch from him, considering all the CTs are in very separate positions right now. Sure, they have good guns to work with here, but there's no trade opportunity here, at least until it gets down to a one on two. If Castro finds his first frag here, potentially... The clutch as possible. Castro, I'm sorry, bro. That is the wrong position to be looking. They aren't holding down window room. Ladder room, even. The ice sight is going to be gifted to him. But the rotations are going to be quick. From the CT side here, we'll be guaranteed a bomb plant. That's surprising to me. Actually doesn't want to commit to it, though. Mac 1 will go out, take care of them. That's another round on the board for Gorilla Gang, and... That's something Recon 5 should not have lost. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a pause come out of them. Gorilla Gang are going to have a lot healthier buy to work with this time around. And they're going to need it. Five match points still to go up against. Recon 5 are going to take this very, very slow though. They know that well, they have a little less pressure to deal with. They're not going to be investing pretty much anything into this round, save for a single P250 in Freshie's hands. 
Alexander looking for a peek. Well, gang, have to be a little bit scared on how they try to commit to this. They know that they're most likely up against Ecos here, and I'm not sure if Alexander is ready for it. Well, indeed he is, but it's not good enough to find more than two here. Kampeki will trade it out. A much-needed trade here, and if they can get the bomb down here, this would be a massive success, excuse me, for Recon 5 here. Conti plants a bomb over at A yet again. Uh, apparently ingenious plan here, and won't find the frag. The Glock just isn't good enough to secure a kill. That'll be Gorilla Gang going up at 11, but another bomb plant and another two kills here. That's a pretty good look for Recon 5 here heading into this next round. Money is going to look very, very good for them. They can even force an AWP if they wanted to. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that in the hands of Kampeki. It's interesting to note, though, that that's not even the first time we've seen this strat used this half. I mean, Recon 5 pulled it off a little bit earlier on. I believe it was with... I want to say it was Castro being the bomb carrier last time. No AWP coming out. He's going to be choosing to stick with that AK. Flash out through mid. Conti is going to go ahead and try to peek behind it. Spotted no one. Don't want to give up that bomb. Typhoon is in a very potentially strong position. Just immediately gives it up like that. That could potentially be the head chop. That Recon 5 needed. Wreck Monster is going to go ahead. Try to redeem his teammate here. Indeed he does. Finds a trade. Doesn't find the second though. The trades are going very, very well for Recon 5 right now. They will be jumping into the window as well. They actually missed a jump. That's unfortunate. That's got to be a little bit of information granted to Alexander. But perhaps they were actually going for a 5,000 IQ play right there. We're faking that window push. To catch Alexander out of position. He'll reset. The bomb is making its way over towards B. They really like this B site before. But this is one this one's for all the marbles. Alexander is gonna be quick on the rotate, quick Molotov out. They're actually gonna eat this Molotov damage. It might be lethal though. Alexander! He's actually still staying alive right now. How is he not gone down? This is actually giving Gorilla Gang an in to actually hold down this round. The rotations are perfectly on time. Alexander finds the first one sitting over towards bench. No one is stopping him right now. Finally, there's a trade in, but it's just no chance for recon. That should have been a round that they could have secured. It was a three on four. That was... Alexander was not dealt with whatsoever. That was rough from Recon 5. I don't really have the words for that. Recon 5, again, they're going to be stuck onto another eco here. They should not force us at all. They need to start taking this slow. Start taking it safe and start getting those trades that I know they're good at. AWP. Not towards mid, excuse me. There's no AWP at all on the board. Rack monster. Should still be good for one frag, though. I'm not sure if he's watching underpass. He surely didn't see the push out towards mid. And Wreck Monster, who it does push over towards connector, might be granted a free kill under Freshy if he were to try to push this. However, he's going to have a lot to deal with here, as pretty much the entirety of the T side is going to be up against him. No frag, no dink, no nothing. And it's goodbye. For Wreck Monster for that round. Luckily, his teammates will pick up the much needed slack. Freshy will find out another much needed kill, you might say, as well. Oh my god, don't tell me this is actually going to happen. An eco round win is what Recon 5 are on the brink of doing to take out Gorilla Gang. This could be the most embarrassing way to do it. Mac 1, though, doesn't want it to happen, and Alexander doesn't either. First kill going down. Left up to Os Osuna, excuse me. Nearly takes on Alexander, but Gorilla Gang will stay alive, if just barely. That was very scary, but Recon 5 didn't force their hand when they had it. They will stay alive. Recon 5 really want to force us to the very end of regulation, don't they? The economy isn't super pretty. Mac 1 has a creak in hand. Flash out. 
Molotov's out as well. A standard A execute will be the recipe for this round here. And it might be the recipe that they need to cure this disease that is known as Gorilla Gang right now. Recon Fire are just running all over this. This execute, it's so standard, but it seems to be doing the trick just fine. Freshie will go down at the hands of Wreck Monster. So this is now indeed possible. It's a three on three, down to a three on two. Now this is the sort of response you want to see, but Recon, they're still staying in this. Kenpeki on 12 HP, sitting over towards ramp. Gorilla Gang are very, very healthy here. Castro nearly dropping, but Kenpeki finds a kill through the smoke. It's Alexander versus two. We might see Gorilla Gang fall. The first seed in advance are not going to hold on to Recon here. Finds the first one here. The bomb is so far ticked, he needs to start holding it at this point, though. And Castro will come out on top, and Recon 5 pull off the upset, taking out the number one seed in the Gorilla Gang. And that was a result I was not expecting whatsoever. And that's not something you can really count on either. Recon 5, what a fantastic show. Dominate on Inferno. Dominant on Mirage here. They struggled a little bit here, but they are going to be able to get away with it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this stream. This has been an absolute success, I have to say, though. But all this happened thanks to Recon 5. They're the ones who really made this happen. Recon 5 were the really the big people behind this. And they are going to be sponsored by... Well, actually, a big amount of people here <laughs> try to fight a list of everyone really i my mind is blown right now uh, really the big people were pride apparel they're the ones again who did make this happen also don't want to forget the affiliates in rogue energy and jerky pro thank you guys so much for coming out here i know that uh <laughs> I'm a little bit rusty on the cast here. I, it's been a while since I've casted, but I really appreciate you guys coming out. We are going to go ahead and call it for the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching again. My name has been Ito. I've been working with Recon 5 today to make this broadcast happen, and I'll see you guys hopefully very, very soon.